Welcome mm-hmm. back to Less Cash More Mash. My name's Tom. And I'm Mike. And today we're cracking open a very special bottle. This was a donation of Devil's Do Straight donation. Bourbon Whiskey. So, Devil's Do. The devil's do. So thank you very much, my friend Chip. This is one of a uh, very generous donation. He was on vacation in West Virginia, and he decided he was going to score me a beautiful bottle that is West Virginia owned. So this is a 90 proof, uh, three year bourbon whiskey made uh, in, I'm sorry if I'm going to kill the name, Kearneysville, West Virginia. So he, he paid approximately $67.39. So it's a small graft distillery, and on their website, they really talk about everything is locally sourced, their corn, their rye, their wheat, their, and their barley, and that it's mostly handcrafted. Oops, sorry. So it's their own. It's, it's so their it's their own, own little stuff. Little this is batch. Yeah, this is their own. They come out of the woods and a co- well, started. If that's the case, good for them. <laughs> good for them. I had said that to them. I'm like, good luck trying to find no. something down there because everybody's in the woods making their own stuff. So. Not to stereotype, it's, it's, but I'd yes, be right there with you. Nothing I, I, but a joke. I'd love to try. I'd really love to try. But if he wasn't such a pansy, there would already be something in the woods. That whole, I will say, not the darkest looking one we've ever had. He is a pansy. I have all <laughs> kinds of stuff to put in the woods. Yep. <laughs> you know what it is? He just wanted to drive. Thanks for watching. He doesn't want to drive towards my direction. No. Because it wouldn't be in his woods. No way. Uh, no. Nope. nope. We got an albino deer in our woods. That's what we got going on back there. All right. Whoa. <laughs> I'm yeah. fucking around with a rapper. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. You're making noise for the microphone. I get it. And, and worried about what we what should be doing, doing in, in the, the woods. woods. Yep. I'm gonna, don't, let me don't sidetrack you with a whole whiskey <laughs> review. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to. I'm, gonna, I'm wondering what you think of this one. I don't want to say anything because I don't want to lead it's, the it's witness. Almost, it's weird. It's almost like an apricot. All right, Mike's nose is broken. It's, so we're gonna, it's an uh, apricot to an Irish kind of land is where I go. Okay, so now just refocus your brain into the fact that one time I said like a fresh baked bread. No. Like, like go no. with like a dough. You don't get any kind of a bread aspect of this no. whatsoever. No. I think he's drunk. Right, let's just be honest. <laughs> Honestly, no. I, 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 no, this is one of the ones. And I don't know what it is. So far, it's been like that deep Virginia and West Virginia right now. And, and, and New York, of all places, where I get that. But really, as soon as I brought it up to my nose, it's a, it's that's what hits me. It's a total different nose by far. You are correct. Yeah, but, but I don't get the bread. You did in that one. That That's what kills me because you had it in that one. There was one that you were like, I actually get your fresh break bread. So I thought you would actually finally get it. It's like I, predominant. I get total the, uniqueness. So there's no caramel. There's none of that stuff. You're no, really getting I'm, that I'm fresh really, baked I am dough. Get, like, no, or I'm the fresh apricot. baked bread. Apricot. Which, which really has like minimal. What the hell's an apricot? Is, it, is those, those those little oranges? Oh, <laughs> it's more in a peach can. Oh, is it the peach without the fuzz? There you go. Okay. All right. Yeah. Those no. are the good peaches. That's what I call them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's how my mother had to sell I, I'm to him. Certainly not getting an apricot <laughs> at all in this, but mm. the palate is exactly what what comes on. It's like when you it's it's pretty close to it's, the ones he brought back from Virginia. Yeah, and it, it, and it brings same ones we've been doing in New York too. That red sour actually had this same. It's a. I it's don't it's, get the bread, it's, but. it's it's like right when you go to you know when it's a nice you cut the nice warm bread and you go to put butter on it and you get it. that smell no that's what you get no. that's that flavor it's, I, I just did it the whole weekend I I'm just saying what I get so and, maybe and I'm just warm bread we baked the bread and bought a bread and cut them both and buttered them all for everybody and no mm-hmm. I don't get that mm-hmm. uh, that's a huge that is a maybe huge flavor back. It, it, I, that's all I can get honestly it, I'm trying to get your fruit I really am there is a sweetness that I haven't pinpointed into like a fruit but there is like a sugary sweetness on the very tail like when you swallow it, it gives you like a nice sugary coating I, 
bread for days, though. I'm really it, getting that. It, whatever, it, I'd it like to know what flavor it you stand get. Out. It's like whatever that is. It's got to be a product. Really, there's one fly in here. You keep it, bonking it, my eyes. He's been here for a couple of videos. A couple of videos now. now. So, but what I'm trying to say is, is, is you have that. Whatever you have to be getting a certain taste. I have no idea what you're getting. In my head, it's fresh baked bread. But it, is it oatmeal or is it? Is it? It is definitely no, not oatmeal. Okay, I'm trying to. I'm I trying to work with you. that too. Mm-hmm. He's like the resident goat. He's just out there eating grass and oats off the ground. I, I do make oatmal on a regular basis. This is the, this. You is, wouldn't think as healthy as I try to eat. Look I, at me. I don't. I don't. I don't. You know, you, you you donate a bottle, you get what you get. This is actually very good to me. Like I I, I can't even like I don't want to make people think that we're saying good things because there's someone donated it. But if you get access to this, because I don't know how, and you guys are all around the country, so leave a comment down below if you have access to actually buy this. I know it's in, made in West Virginia. I don't know what the it's a little craft distillery according to what their website was. I I, I would assume it is. Especially, so, especially for the price of the this year. This is very good. This is really big for all the people in New York that that said that they like like the the the, the black button and uh, the the, the, the Tacomic, I think was the other one that it we had right. that had that same bready flavor. There's a couple of them out there. This is really bringing that flavor and taste to me. I, I actually really like this one in a, I, in a totally go. different bourbon way. It doesn't it's, taste it's like anything. That. Like this would be one, and it will be one. Like if it goes in the blinds, I I should be able to get this because this is standing out like discretion and honest truth to me. I, I should, but I won't because I won't remember. It. No, but the, the, like it really is standing out. Oh, but yeah, Red Sod did the same thing, and that was from New York. If you remember that, no, one. no, I do few, remember it was New York. A few I New just York picked ones. it, but it was yeah, because that because I was, yeah I that black lost. button one uh, did the same thing me from New York too. So if you do like that profile, I don't get the freaking and actually. Bread. Just curiosity, because it, it is so big. And actually, when super fan of the channel Steve comes over and we have a have a couple of beverages, he gets the bread. Where you know what I mean? Like I'll I won't say anything. He's like, "Are you getting the bread?" So I'm just curious what you guys get. So if anyone tried this bourbon, like let me know what you what you actually get for like a taste profile, because it is like such a, like to me it's it's so obvious. Like it pops out, but it once it hits you, it it's hits so you. obvious in in the the back flavor. But not, I don't get bread. Mm -hmm. It's 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 a whole different flavor. Well, it's not a total bourbon flavor. Right. Well, that's why I was trying taste. to see like what pops into your head because I'm, because, I'm trying to get it. But it's, no, it, it, I'm not putting you on the spot. It was just curiosity to me. Like when I get same thing. No, when I get it. like bananas for Old Forest, so you get the nuts, the I crushed do, nuts. I do, you so get that. like whatever you associate that flavor, it's whatever right. that flavor is that'll keep you. So I shouldn't be helping you because that's what'll come back when that pops into your brain. Like oh, that was that one, you know. But to me, I. If I had a complaint, it's a three-year bourbon for sixty-seven dollars. So it is pricey, but I know it's a craft distillery, and it's it's they're, they're working on it. So I, I don't want to forgive them, but if you if you support, we're not local, of course. But I can see it. It's not an outrageous price because you've paid more for less years. You know what I mean? No, I, so and I I, no, I, I totally get all that, but they're not. To me, it's not in the, the whole bourbon land just yet, mm -mm. or their own little. Uh, they're in their own little bourbon land per se. The, right, it's the same thing like discretion or that it, tarnished it, truth. It is that it was is, phenomenal that to me because it was totally yeah, see, in its I, own separate it, it flavor pro really profile. Trip my trigger. Right, no, I hear you. you. I don't think you cared for it last time. I, to me, I like it because I actually got it from that Green River one too that they had that the Green Briar uh, Nelson was Brothers it wasn't, Green, it wasn't, not Green River. Not, excuse me, Green River, the Nelson Brothers yeah, Green yeah. Briar. I got that nice bready flavor in that too. So, again, if you do like that profile, this one's a good one. We'll keep it short and sweet because we've seen the run la long mm. lately. So, thank you again, Chip, for donating this bottle. This thank one you very is much. a Devil's Do uh, Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Again, on the pricey side, but it, it is actually very, very good. That's, so that's a yes and no for for the crap. In the, right for the no, crap. no, I get that. But I'm trying to think. We just did one. Was it Field and Sound? Because I said Field and Stream from New York. That was yeah. actually still 37 banging half the price. But we also just did one from Treehouse, and it was not very good. Oh, I don't even know if that one came out yet. But, yeah, that was not very good for sure. So, that being said, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Spend less, drink more. Cheers. Subscribe.